In this video, let's learn about the enterohepatic circulation. The bile acid and salts are absorbed from the intestine and they are re-excreted into the bile and this cycle is repeated so many times and that is called as the enterohepatic circulation of the bile acid and the bile salts. The bile salts are produced in the liver, so this is the liver that secretes 200 to 500 mg per day of bile salts and they are conjugated. So after the process of the conjugation, these conjugated bile salts, those are the CBS, through the biliary tract, they enter the intestine. So this is the biliary tract and this is the intestine. So these conjugated bile salts, they pass through the biliary tract to enter the intestine. From the intestine, they are absorbed into the portal blood circulation and they reach the liver. So these are the CBS, the conjugated bile salts. And this is the portal circulation, that is the portal vein. These CBS, through the portal circulation, they reach the liver. The CBS in the intestine gets deconjugated. And this deconjugated or the unconjugated bile salt is also absorbed into the portal circulation and this deconjugated CBS is present in the intestine as the free bile acids and this free bile acids in the terminal ileum and the colon by the action of the bacteria they get converted into the secondary bile acids that is SBA so this part is the terminal ileum and these free bile acids are converted into the secondary bile acid. These secondary bile acids are formed due to the deoxycholic acid and the lithocholic acid. So these are the secondary bile acids, those are the SBA. And these SBAs are also reabsorbed into the portal circulation. So, from the gut, about 95% of the secreted bile salts and bile acids are transferred back to the liver via the portal circulation. So, remember, about 95% of secreted bile salts and acids are transferred back to the liver. That is via the portal circulation. And only 200 to 500 mg of the bile acids are excreted from the stool. And from liver, they are again excreted through the biliary tract. Those are the conjugated bile salts and they come into the intestine. And this forms a loop pathway for the enterohepatic circulation. Now let's learn the substances that undergo the enterohepatic circulation. The bile salts bile acids, pigments, vitamin D, vitamin B12, thyroxine and some drugs. And the importance of the enterohepatic circulation. The primary function of the enterohepatic circulation of the bile acids and the bile salts is to maintain the total bile acid pool of the body. And some points to remember. The total amount of the bile acids, those are the conjugated, the primary bile acids or the secondary bile acids, ranges from 2 to 4 grams. The bile acid is cycled several times a day during meals so that a small pool of bile acid can efficiently provide enough bile. Okay. Though the absorption of the bile acids and bile salts occur in the intestine, some amount is lost that is 500 mg of the bile acid daily which is replaced by the synthesis of new bile acids from the cholesterol. In the fecal excretion of the bile acids accounts only the medium loss of the body cholesterol. 
So this is all about the enterohepatic circulation. If you like my video, do subscribe to my channel. And do look at some of my recent videos and playlists.